Hello and welcome to this Property Hub University course. In this course we're diving into the ripple effect, a concept that every investor needs to know about. Understanding the ripple effect can help you make educated decisions on where the next investment hotspot is likely to be, so you can get in early and take advantage. Firstly, let's start by looking at what the ripple effect is. The ripple effect is where property in one area becomes expensive and the people who would have previously lived here would have to start looking further afield. So they're basically priced out of the area. When this happens and people can't afford to buy in their preferred area, they tend to look a bit further afield. And when this happens on a mass scale, it pushes up prices of the new area and the cycle then repeats. And this is the ripple effect in action. Buyers get priced out of an area, they move a bit further afield to somewhere more affordable. This pushes prices up and the ripple continues to grow, a bit like when you drop a stone in an ocean. Now it's important to remember that the ripple effect works in both ways. So if prices are falling in somewhere like central London, for example, this could reduce prices to a lesser extent a bit further out. Now as a property investor, it's really important to understand not just what the ripple effect is, but why it matters. It matters for three main reasons. The first one is that it allows you to buy in at a lower price than an area that's already hot. Secondly, your yields are likely to be higher because you've bought in when prices were lower. And thirdly, you have a thesis for why prices will rise. You haven't just silently hoped that it had happened. So how does that ripple start? Every ripple starts with one key driver. Now it could be a number of things. It could be gentrification, where an area starts getting nicer and it attracts more people, more businesses move in and house prices grow. And when an area becomes a more appealing place to live and demand starts to rise, prices then start to increase. And this can kick off the ripple effect because people get priced out the market and start to look further afield. Another reason could be transport links. And that's one of the fundamentals we look for when we're analysing investment hotspots. When a new transport link opens and has the potential to shorten people's commute, you'll find this becomes a desirable want in a property. You'll find that prices along the route will start to rise and this becomes a catalyst for the ripple effect. We've seen this happen with the introduction of the Metrolink in Manchester, for example. And as the routes expanded, this has had a huge impact on rising house prices along the route. Then we've also got international investment. If we look back at the crash of 2008, London prices here fell harder than anywhere else. But they bounced back quickly because London was considered a safe haven to park the cash. And this pushed prices up. So when buyers got priced out, they started to look further afield. And here, the ripple effect took hold. Now, if you've got your eye on an area and are praying for overnight ripples, that's not going to happen. It takes time. It can take years for the ripple effect to take hold as a market adjusts to the original catalyst. And market and buyer behaviour shifts to looking outward at the next location. So the trick here is to let the data guide you. Analyse house prices in key locations and observe the surrounding areas and what's happening there. Look at what investments are being made, which businesses are moving in, what transport links are being announced and use all this information to guide you and your investment making decisions. So we've very quickly covered off the ripple effect, how it starts and how long it'll take. Now if you've watched and listened to the last two modules, you might be thinking, how far does the ripple effect go? And this is a tricky one to answer. Like the stone in the ocean we referred to at the start, the ripple goes from the middle outwards, but its force weakens the further it goes from the centre. Now remember, the ripple effect is happening all of the time. It might be a gradual ripple where prices are slowly getting higher and people need to look further afield, or there might be a huge catalyst like a new transport link, for example. It might happen at different paces in different locations, but it is happening. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can harness the ripple effect. The first is by looking for the fundamentals. An area needs to be fundamentally strong that's close to an area where prices are already rising. And if you don't know what the fundamentals are just yet, you can search the word fundamentals on the website and you'll find out what they are and how you can use this information to scope out your next investment location. The second way you can harness it is by being patient. By waiting for the ripple, you're getting in early. So don't expect to see big gains immediately. Remember, you're playing the longer game here and property isn't always a quick win. And finally, don't kid yourself. Just because an area is close, it won't benefit if it's not fundamentally strong. And those are just a few of the key things that you need to be aware of. So now you know how far the ripple effect goes and how you can use it to your advantage, and you know that it's not going to happen overnight, take the quiz to cement your learning 